What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Johnny Blackman here and on today's episode of Mobile Suit Blackman we are taking a look at the White Base Catapult Deck Renewal Edition. This is the third in a trio of catapult decks that we've looked at here, but this is actually a revisit to the first catapult deck released in 2016. So for a bit of background on the white base, the white base is the flagship designed by Amuro Ray's father and the Earth Federation to support Operation 5 and the mobile suits, the RX-78, gun cannon and gun tank, gun Piri, core fighter and so on. It departs from side 7 with Amuro and the refugees of side 7 as well as a partial crew during the initial attacks from Xeon, the white base ferries the crew between side seven and earth and space throughout mobile suit gun. Now I will say, although this kit is gorgeous and I do love it, I wasn't going to get it initially. As I've mentioned, this is the third catapult deck that we're looking at. However, this is the first released by Mega House in this series of catapult decks. Mega House released the white base catapult deck a few years back. However, it was just a flat black catapult deck without any level of shading or color shift or included decal. So it left a lot to be desired. However, the renewal edition, the renewal part of that is the color and shading you're seeing on this kit was included in box as part of the manufacturing process so there's nothing i've added here except the decals included the decals really make the kit pop and i've gone ahead and not only use what they've recommended based on the marking sheet but the extra decals i've tossed as many of them on as i could and it really does make all of the difference with this between the renewal edition and the Argama catapult deck and the Ptolemy container. Just like the Argama catapult deck has a lot of small nuances, the same can be said for the white base catapult deck. What you're seeing included is the wall of the catapult deck that has an interesting little catwalk attached to it as well as three sections of the catwalk that extend in front of the individual mobile suit uh, hangers or platforms I guess you would call them. The three mobile suit platforms are removable and adjustable so you can change the angles of those to suit however you are trying to design or film your vignette. The catapult deck has a large amount of divots and grooves and sections of the plastic that really do allow the kit to have that realistic model series moniker where it's not just flat pieces but sections that give you a sense of where the actual catapult launches the mobile suits from the base you've even got square sections that jut out that allow you to use the system base rack for weapons and for places on the rear wall of the catapult deck the real joy comes in pairing the white base or any catapult deck with your favorite mobile suits from that identifying series so in this case it's obviously going to be the operation 5 mobile suits as well as some of the ships such as the core fighter and the gun parry. Now I don't have a gun cannon assembled just yet but I am working on that and I have to make a decision about the G fighter and the gun tank so look for those soon but if you do have those and you decide to get the white base renewal edition they are going to look fabulous paired beside it. Now I did mention earlier in the video that I wasn't going to get this model and I'll explain what happened. So I got the Ptolemy container first and loved it and then I got the Argama catapult deck 
and really enjoyed that and it's very very cool to see the iconic shape of the Argama catapult deck and that's really what makes that unique that big red triangle with the opening just lets you know that you are dealing with the Argama now at this point the white base catapult deck has been out for years and seeing images of it it really does look flat and plain which is why I believe they decided to do a renewal edition the renewal edition is much different and much more lifelike than the original and it's taken a page from the Argama using the reshaded plastic right out of the box. When you look at the Argama and you assemble it, you realize that the bulk of the plastic used is for the base itself. When you look at it and you see it in the horizon, you just catch that big red triangle that defines the edge of the catapult deck. And that's about it visually. It leaves a little bit to be desired that you cannot see the rest of the ship. Unlike that, the white base catapult deck really holds your interest visually because you are staring into what it appears to be the inside of a box so that you catch every detail. The flooring is just as important as the rear wall, which is just as important as the side wall of it. They're all given kind of equal billing. With the Argama, I think the silhouette does not lend itself well to all angles. So while I do love the Argama Catapult deck, visually I think I'm going to have more fun playing with the white base right out of box. The last bit of information that I'll be sharing is that there is a fourth catapult deck in the works. So this is the trilogy as it stands thus far, but they are releasing a Archangel catapult deck from Mobile Suit Gundam Seed. So look out for the Archangel catapult deck. There are a few promo images that have been generated and published, but we are expecting that. I believe later this year in the fall for Japan and that's probably going to end up being early 2022 stateside here in America. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching the video everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah, definitely check this kit out. If you see one at a hobby shop, consider picking it up because who knows how easy they'll be to find.